Welcome back. Your girl is headed to the dentist office. Gross. <laughs> well, I don't want to go, but if you've been here for a while, you probably, I don't know if you'll remember, but I was talking about I was probably going to have to have a root canal done on the tooth because it's just been bothering me. Well, it's just to that point of I got to get something done. I have a cleaning schedule for next Friday and I was gonna talk to the dentist then because it's been bothering me. I mean, I've been having to take ibuprofen twice a day um, and it knocks the pain out, but I know that's just a band-aid, you know? So this morning I have just battled it. And so I just called on the chance that maybe they could get me in sooner than next Friday to talk to the dentist and um, she, they're working me in today. And she's like, can you be here at two o'clock? I said, absolutely I can. So, probably gonna have to have a root canal and a crown because it already has a large filling, filling in it. And I'm most certain that is what's gonna have to happen, so. They'll have to get me probably on some antibiotics and then get me in to start the process. This ain't my first rodeo, but do what you got to do to save your teeth. And I mean, we have dental insurance, but it's a joke. You know, it don't cover that much, but I guess any little bit helps. So I have, I have fought it and fought it. And now it's just time. It's just to the point of it's got to be done. So, that's how my day's getting started. <laughs> it could be worse. It could be worse. I could not have the, um, they could not have worked me in. I could not have the, uh, the availability. I, you know, there's a million things that could be worse. And so, I don't want to sound like I'm not thankful because I am. So, I'll keep y'all posted. I know y'all just sitting on the edge of your seat. I know. It's just riveting YouTube, isn't it? <laughs> but hey, this is life. <laughs> okay, y'all. I'm back from the dentist. And I have to have a root canal, which I kind of knew it. So, uh, he's giving me some antibiotics and a steroid pack. And then I go back um, March the 4th for my root canal. It's time, my baby did as long as I could. But when I left here, I knew I was gonna be a little bit early. So I did that on purpose so I could run by the American Thrift Store and I'm so glad I did. And then I shopped there and then I was still early. So in Gaucher, um, they have what's called a dirt sheet where a, they get a lot of like stores when they're like not selling items anymore and they have it, then they kind of like get their stock and then they'll mark it down and sell it but a lot of times you have to watch them because they'll mark it up to mark it down and so you're really not saving anything so you have, kind of have to know the deal but anyway i did pick up three things there that i love and one is definitely going to be to help me with an item that i was going to put in the booth so let me show you my haul it's not all booth haul okay some of it's mine so for y'all that don't like booth thrift hauls this one i have some a lot of stuff really i think the majority of it is for me so let's just get started first things first i did pick up something from my mama i picked this cute little shelf let me get this out of the way this little shelf it's a little bow with a little gold shelf uh, I picked this up for her. I think it's so cute, and she'll probably use it in her bedroom or her bathroom or somewhere like that. It was only like $2.99, and I was like, if she don't want it, I know I can sell it in the, the booth, but she does want it. She's seen it, so she does want it. I got that for her, so that's for the mama. I picked up this cute little crock. Um, I don't need it. Um, I will be putting it in the booth. I was trying to see... I hate it when they put the stickers. Okay, this is what the bottom. I don't know. Y'all have to see if y'all can tell me what that says. Anyway, this cute little crop. It is so adorable. I love it. And uh, I think it'll, it'll be a good seller in the booth. 
Now this piece is for me. I love it for two or three reasons. This beautiful needlepoint cross stitch. It says, good morning, Robin. And Robin is my daughter's first name. Good morning, Robin. Sing a song of spring to me. I love this. And I'm going to put it in my guest bathroom because it is the perfect colors. I'm not changing anything about it. I absolutely love everything about it. And I really was expecting them to have like six or seven dollars on this. And when I saw that it was only $3.99, I was like, yes. Um, but it was custom framing from KNN, custom framing in Bossier City, Louisiana. So is it Bossier or Bossier? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, got that from me. Um, I know y'all gonna think, Donna, where are you gonna put this in that room when I tell you what room it's going in? <laughs> Laundry room. <laughs> I have my scissors and my button, which I'm gonna get some twine. A lot of y'all said what I was thinking, um, but I, I don't have any twine to put through the buttonholes. I wanna get that. But I want to paint this like silver for safety pin. And I wanna put it on that wall, but if I don't have the space for it and it don't look good, then I will just stick it in the booth and sell it. But I think it is adorable. And I mean, scissors, buttons, Safety pins, kind of all goes together, right? Okay. Um, I bought this bagged item for one thing in it because I think that I can sell it and make my money back on the bag. This wooden doorknob was in this bag. And I'm going to put this in my booth. I think it is so cute. And um, it has some other cute things in the bag too. Well, cute things that, I mean, James can use this. This has never been used. He can use this. This will be great. Like he can put it on a piece of wood and hang it on the wall and hang like extension cords or something like that on whatever. He'll be able to use that. Um, I don't know if he'll be able to use this. We'll have to figure out how you get the combination to it. But that would be nice if he needs that. And then there was this little staple gun. I don't know if it works. Yeah, has staples in it too. Hyper tough staple gun. And then this, oh Lord, this brought back my days of beauty school. This is what we would use to put um, the mannequins on. You clamp them to a table or a desk or something and then you put your mannequin head on this. So, there's that. Um, and then, that's all in that bag. Then, I picked up this. This is a very heavy duty, nice tray. It just needs to be clean. And it was very inexpensive. It was like $4. And so I will stick this in my booth. It's so well made, very heavy duty, very nice. Usually they mark these things up to where they're ridiculous that there's no way you could resell it. But I think I can resell this. If nothing else, it'll be cute to like set a little vignette up on. Um, it'll be cute for staging. So I did get that for the booth. And then the last thing I got for me at the thrift store is this, this huge thing of ivy. And I'm gonna take it out and clean it. I'm almost certain the only reason it got donated is because it's dirty and I'm gonna clean that. Um, and I paid $4.99 for this. That is a lot of ivy for $4.99. And then I could always do something with the basket that it's in. So it's a win-win. I'll just take all this ivy out, wash it up, let it dry and use it. And I love, I happen to love this kind. To me, it's just, I just love that. So when I saw that it was only $5, yeah, you better believe I snatched it up. Okay, and then in Dirt Cheap, I found three of these. They're originally from Target, um, and they're originally $5, and I got them, and I bought, paid $3 a piece for them, which is what I paid for them at the thrift store. So, um, yeah, and I got three of them. One of these I'll use. Do y'all remember? me thrifting this. I'm going to do something with the pot and stick it in here and let the little uh, leaves and stuff come out the side. 
and sell it, you know, they can buy it together or separate. Um, so yeah, that is what I got. Not too shabby considering that it's not been the most pleasant day. <laughs> but I am so thankful that, you know, I'm in a position where I'm able to go to the dentist, you know. Um, is it ideal? No. <laughs> but, you know, there are so many people that don't have that luxury. And so I don't want to come off as ungrateful. So that is my thrift haul. Um, and going to the dentist kind of explain, kind of confirms to me, okay, why I've been kind of like, not not my normal energy level. Um, I've still been able to do stuff, but I've just like run down real fast and it's because of all the infection, I suppose. So hopefully we'll get all this resolved and it'll be just in time for this beautiful spring weather. It is gorgeous out there today. The sun is shining. I was sitting here talking to my mama, watching a little bird out there in the yard. I've filled up my feeders and uh, I'm just, I'm loving seeing the little birds. Just love them so much. Hence why my bathroom is done in birds. But <clears throat> I think I know where I'm going to put that one in my bathroom. Um, I think I already know the spot where it's going to go. So if I have that hung up, I'll show y'all that. I'm going to work on the little safety pin. Um, yeah, and just kind of, I've got a ton to get priced and get over to the booth. So, um, I'm going to be working on that as well. So, that's it for now. So, I will catch up with y'all later. Now, that was made for that spot right there. That is perfect, and I love it. I did add these beautiful plates in here. I know it's probably crazy to have plates in a bathroom, but I love them, and I love that it kind of ties in with this plate, which I leave in here all the time. And there's another one and they're thrifted. And it's just like a little backdrop, you know, when you see. So I need to get another battery in my candle because I leave it on all the time and it kind of serves as like a nightlight too. But how perfect is that? Now, this is the one I took down. Another beautiful needle point. So I just got to figure out where to put it. And I may add it over here somewhere. Right there. I gotta change out those prints. I have the regular spring prints or everyday prints behind those. I just changed them for the winter, so I need to do that. You know what would be cute? I could probably put a little string on this. I could probably just hang it right there, huh? Do y'all think that would look weird? I don't know, we'll see. I could put it right there, the options. But I love it, so it's definitely gotta stay in here. Somebody took a lot of time to make that piece and I just, it's perfect. <laughs> Can y'all guess where we're at? <laughs> it's that time of year. I had to bring Buster in for his yearly deal. Y'all, this is my little editing buddy. <laughs> I sit here with my iPad, and he lays there, and Mama edits, and he's so happy. <laughs> you good boy, Buster. He had a good checkup at the vet. He's good for six months. He don't have to go back for six months, and that'll be just like for his mid-year checkup. And then he don't have to have any more shots for a year. Him's good. Good boy. You so happy that's over with. You and Mama both. And we found out we can request his favorite girl to clip his nails every time so we don't have that stress to worry about anymore. It's been a good day, huh, Bob? Good day. Good day. <laughs> Okay, you just chill out while Mama works. Okay, our fire pit has bit the dust, y'all. We gotta throw it away, so I'm gonna use it to spray paint this on. I've got this hammered Rust-Oleum. I really like the look of this. 
I'm going to spray that and see if I like it. And if I don't have enough, James is going to go to Lowe's. He can pick me up another can. But I'm going to give it a shot. We'll see how, how it does. different at all. Okay, so I don't like that. I want it to be a brighter silver, like a safety pin. So, I'm going to get him to pick me up a different silver paint to be continued. So, here is where I put that little crock. I love it, and I'm trying to make this incorporate the blues here. Now, I took this down. It was hanging here, but, um, uh, thinking I didn't care for it there so I'm still figuring that out so just kind of disregard that but how adorable is that at first I wanted to see if how my it would hold my toothpicks but just a little bit too big for that now I'm going to change out the greenery or maybe add some more spring greens to it when I get some but that's what it's looking like for now and then this is not going to stay like this but look that is that little orange stool that I thrifted. Um, I stained the top, painted the legs, love it. And I set this crop, this is my great grandmother's crop on top of it and it hides the outlet perfectly. And then there's my chicken door stop, which it kind of looks silly from this angle, but when you're looking at it from that way, it looks better. But I had washed this up and I, you know, I was letting it dry outside and then it was kind of blowing. So I just brought it in here and kind of stuck it in there to let it finish drying. And I'm not lying, y'all. I kind of like it. I think it might be a bit much, but at the same time, I kind of like it. So we'll just have to see. But I love this greenery. This is my favorite ivy. I love it. And all it was was dirty and I just washed it. And there you go. It's perfect again. So, that's what I've done with that, and um, I was going to use that little bench, put that little stool in the booth, but I really kind of like it, and it's perfect for when the grandbabies come. They can take it to the bathroom, like if they need to brush their teeth or something like that. They can stand on it. It's sturdy enough. I don't worry about them falling. It's wide enough and sturdy enough, so it may stay here for a little while. I can always add it to the booth later, you know what I mean? So. That's what that's looking like. I did swap places with my little ironstone pitchers. This one was originally up there and I just swapped it because I liked it more here and then it bright that lighter one brightened that up a little bit. So that's what I've done there. And y'all, like I said, just disregard that middle shelf. I'm still playing. <laughs> still playing, but that's what I've done so far. I am loving this dish strain, y'all. Love it. I think that's the best money I've spent at the thrift store in a very long time. Absolutely love it. It's like, why have I not already had one? I mean, just overlook the mess right now, but I love it. It's perfect. Perfect size. It's perfect. Love. So, we got back from taking Buster to the vet, and I put my pajamas back on. I've been on the couch editing and just taking it easy. I'm just, I just, I just don't have the energy that I need. <laughs> I'm just feeling kind of run down. So I hate taking them dog on steroids. I know they're necessary. I know we have to do it, but I did not rest because I was, I went to bed and then I was up at 2.30 this morning. I've been up since 2.30. And then I tried to cat nap. You know, I think I fell asleep in the recliner around 6.37, something like that. And that didn't last long. So, <coughs> it's just part of the steroids. And ugh, I hate them. I know they're necessary, but I just do not, I do not like taking them. But I wanted to show y'all, 
I'm, I'm, I'm through complaining. I'm sorry. I know y'all don't come here for me to complain. I'm sorry. Um, but I wanted to show y'all some changes I made to the bookcase. <laughs> I love decorating. I can't help it. I love it. And I have tweaked it. And this side of the bookcase, I'm happy with. I love it. But now I've got to focus on the other side. There's a couple of shelves I'm not happy with. So let me show y'all what I've done. And you know, if you're a minimalist, it's not for you. You're more than welcome to look, but you're probably not gonna um, like it because a minimalist, I am not. And I'm okay with that. I love it. I love all the things and I love looking at them. I don't like having them put up where I can't see them. So I'm going to turn the camera around and show y'all what I've done. <laughs> first things first, I'll show you what I did over here. I had this wreath and I just put it up here and I've just kind of set this little bird nest inside of it. It's not going to get full wither touch. So, I mean, it'll be fine there. And then my green enamel pot that I had up there, I've put it down here and I've just put that copper cauldron in it and just kind of tilted it on its side um, for now. That's where, what I've done with that for now. Y'all know, it'll probably change, but that's the changes I made. Oh, and I did put this platter here, this uh, Courier Knives. Is that Courier Knives? So, okay, yeah. Look, I still got my tag on my stand. Yeah, Courier Knives, and I bought it at the thrift store. Imagine that. I need to get those tags off. This is what happens when I was playing. I had just went and played with that and didn't even take the price tags off. But that's what that looks like. And I haven't done anything else over here except for what I showed y'all. But see, like what I was talking about, when you're, you're coming in from this way, the chicken makes sense. I just run into the wall. <laughs> when you're coming from this way, the chicken makes sense like that. So... That's what that looks like. Okay, now to the bookcases. Um, I'm probably going to let Delena have this because that beautiful picture I bought her from Hobby Lobby has a copper picture, a picture um, in it, and she needs one, and I'm probably gonna let her use that for a little while. So I'm, I'm gonna have to find something else for that. But this is a picture that I thrifted a couple years ago, and I made it fit this frame. It was already matted, but I cut the mat down oval and uh, I got it in an eight by 10, but then I, it was like in a, just a regular square rectangular picture frame. And so I just cut it and made it fit in this frame and I love it. So I did put that there. And so my red platter that I love, I moved it up there. I brought that the red plate that was up there, right here. And then I was playing with this shelf. I already had this kind of like this, but I brought out my blue plate because I brought this out of the bathroom um, because I put something in the place of it for now. And I put that little nest there. So that's what that shelf looks like. So when you stand back, let me get back over here. That's what it looks like. And I really, really love it. Um, I'm happy with that. And so now over here, um, I've got to figure out, I need to springify that shelf song. I'm okay with that shelf. I'm okay with that shelf. And I'm okay with that shelf. I just need to do something with that and something up there. They need some springing up. So I'm okay with the majority of them. You know, just I just need a few little things. I'm just, I'm really not liking this gold mirror, if you wanna know the truth. It's really throwing me off. I don't like it. Um, so I'm gonna have to do something different there. I just do not like it, but it'll come to me. It'll come to me. Still loving my mantle. Absolutely love it. So, I'm happy with that. Um, so, yeah. That's what I've been doing. I just sit here, like I'll sit here on the couch. <laughs> and this is my view when I'm sitting here on the couch. 
and you know how it is. You just start tweaking things. So, yeah. There's a blister. I guess he's starting to not feel too hot. They do give him a little bit of Benadryl, so it might make him a little tired. So I'm gonna cover him up and just let him rest on his heating pad. Sweet baby, he's so good. Mama loves you, Bob. Sweet boy, let me get him covered up. And so I'm going to get back on the couch, do some more editing. I've got a, a devotional video I've got to get put up and another video for the main channel. I'm trying to just upload as I have content on my main channel. Um, of course, I want to do, I, I like to have a schedule, but I know so many of y'all have missed Vlogmas, me having a video every day. And just quite frankly, there's just not enough content to have videos every day. But as I have content, I will upload it. So you may get, you know, three or four videos a week. You might only get two videos a week. Uh, but I will just share with you what I have and hopefully you enjoy. Um... I don't want to bore y'all, so I try to have decent content. Uh, the channel's growing. I'm so proud of it. I have just, I'm just so thankful for it. I'm thankful for every one of you that hits that subscribe button that, you know, comes back and watches the videos, looks forward to them. I just, I'm so thankful for that. And um, I'm so thankful for the growth my channel has had. It's not the biggest channel on YouTube, but you know what? I love this community because of you. You make it special, you make it worthwhile, and I absolutely love sharing videos and talking to y'all in the comments. I feel like I know y'all, and you know, you get used to the same ones that comment all the time, and you build a relationship with them, and I love it. So, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. I love y'all so much. So now I'm gonna get on the couch and work on some videos. <laughs> okay, James picked me this up, this metallic bright coat. I don't think this is gonna work. I think it's gonna be too shiny, but we're gonna try it and see. We can always change it. Let's see how it looks. actually work. James might have done the right thing, y'all. Okay, we're gonna let it dry. To be continued. <laughs> Sweet baby, him's not feeling good. I hate shot day. But tomorrow will be another day. Hopefully he'll feel better, huh, Bob? This one be up here by you, mommy. Oh, yeah. What a difference a good night's sleep makes. Pardon my appearance, but your girl woke up motivated to clean. So I have been bleaching and cleaning, washing rugs, um, scrubbing things that I haven't like scrubbed. You know, sometimes you clean stuff, but you don't really scrub it. So I've been doing that. Now I'm fixing to mop my floors. I got my windows open. I've been out in the yard, like pulling weeds, working on my back flower bed by the house. It's a beautiful day and I'm feeling good. Um, James has gone to hang out with one of his friends. It's his birthday, so they're gonna hang out and piddle and do whatever they do. So, I was like, that is a good day since I'm feeling this way to get this house in order. Got some jazz going. I've been playing with some more decor. I've changed it up since I filmed the last time, so I'll show y'all that. But it just feels so good to feel good. And um, I don't know about y'all, but this is what I look like when I'm doing some heavy cleaning. I don't get all spruced up and dressed up because I know I'm gonna be hot and sweaty and why waste makeup on that? You know what I mean? <laughs> so let me turn the camera around and show you some changes that I've made. Um, and you know, it's probably gonna change again. <laughs> so, 
But anyway, I hope that maybe like with me showing you things that I've done and that I do, it'll at least kind of give you some ideas, maybe spark some creativity in you. So let me just do that real quick because the things I filmed the other day and saying, oh, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, I did. So it's all gonna be in the same video. <laughs> so I hope y'all don't mind. So let's just turn the camera around and see what I've done. Things. First things first, I moved this from my dining table over here. To me, this just looks a little bit better. It looks more like food. I don't know, what is that supposed to be? Like rosemary or something like that? Anyway, I don't know, but I like that. And it does a better job of hiding the outlet. Um, it doesn't kind of like stick out. So, the little plant that I had there, I've moved somewhere else. So, let me show you what I did on the dining table. So on the dining table, I just took the crock off of my bookcases and I've put it here with one of those ferns and I like that. Over here, I did add some green to that little crock. Did that, still haven't done anything to the middle shelf. It hadn't came to me yet, it'll come. So I'm not stressing that. I'm not stressing decor y'all. <laughs> There's too much other stuff that's more important than decor. I just like playing with it. Okay, now over to the bookcase. So I went ahead and took the copper piece down from here. I had this basket in my guest room. I shot my house basically. And I put that there. I like it for the spring and everything. Replay, relocated the candlestick and the clock up here. This is that small crock I had on my dining table. I took it down and put, this is one of those plants that I just got from Dirt Cheap. I like it because it's a little smaller scale. Thrifted this little bunny a few years ago. It's the little salt and pepper shakers. It was only one of them and I love him. So I put it there. And then the the candlestick, you know, I located, relocated the one from, was it there to there. So I put this one up there. It's not as like in your face to me. So that's what I've done. That's the changes I've made here. <laughs> Not huge changes, but a little bit. I haven't done anything with this. I did bring out, I found this book. I had forgot I thrifted it last winter. And it is a vintage birds at home book. And I've just kind of put it here on the coffee table. I may tweak this and not have the candles sitting on top of it, but I really do love the candles on the coffee table. But this is a old book. And I know I love my birds. And it's about the birds. And it was copyright, let me see. Let me see when it was copyright, hold on. The glass is on. Um, look at that, isn't that beautiful? Uh, I bought this at a yard sale last year at a church yard sale. Copyright 1942, can I see that? Uh, not gonna focus, 1942. Anyway, I really love, y'all know, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That would be so beautiful to frame, but I don't want to mess the book up. So, I just kind of set it out here. And I'll just kind of do this like this for now. I may change that, but for now, that's what, that's, I got to clean my table. Y'all see the rings on it? I haven't cleaned it yet. Um, changed out my throw, put a that pretty throw there. I've got this light green one here. Put the heavier duty ones up there. And that's all I've done in here. I do have the fireplace on, but it's not doing the heat. But it was kind of, it was chilly this morning, so I had it on. I haven't turned it off yet, but a pretty little spring screen saver. Uh, one of those channels on YouTube that plays the music. I love that. But that's what I've done. I am fixing to... Um, I think I'm going to start mopping in my bathroom and my bedroom because I've got those rugs in the washer that's in my bathroom. They're in the washer. I've already cleaned and washed the rugs in the guest bath. They're actually out drying on the back porch. Uh, Y'all, I'm so sorry. Y'all have to see me like this. I have no shame to be on the internet like this. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Anyway. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to mop the house and it will feel so good to have the house mopped. And I've got the windows up. I'm listening to the little birds. I love it so much. Spring is definitely in the air here. And we're still in February, which is 
so crazy, but hey, I'm not gonna complain. I need the vitamin D. I need this in my life and I'm loving it. So yeah, okay. I can't sit here and talk to y'all all day. I've got to get this finished while I'm in the mood. Y'all feel me? Buster's doing better. The ray of sunshine is out there grilling for us. We have had a chill day. We drove up to my mom's, um, do a couple things up there, came home, and I've had a steaks marinating. James is cooking those. I'm making some mac and cheese, and we're gonna do some broccoli and kind of mix it up. And I've been out there um, pulling weeds, you know, trying to get a jump start. Every little bit helps. Um, and just, just doing a little bit here and there. Um, but that is going to be it for this vlog. I hope y'all have enjoyed. Yesterday was very busy. And then Delane and Benson actually came over for a little while. And we watched a movie. And it's just been a low-key, it's been a busy, productive, but also I'm just trying to like, as my body tells me to stop, stop, which is very hard for me, but I'm trying. I'm trying. I do get in there and get everything priced for the booth. So we're gonna, my mom's coming down. Y'all, she's so excited about this doggone booth. She is just so excited. So uh, she wants to twice a month totally change it out. And I'm just like, okay, whatever. But anyway, we're going to go do that Tuesday. My ray of sunshine's looking at me. Y'all want to see him? What? What are we doing to? My mom is coming down and we're going to go redecorate the booth, add the stuff to it. Because everything we put in there last week and the week before is basically sold. And we got to go restock, which is a good problem, isn't it, James? Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. <laughs> Daddy definitely. Hey, I'm throwing those other ones away, James. Because I think I can now afford to buy you a new pair of shoes. <laughs> How are the steaks coming along? They're about ready. Oh, well. They'll have to rest a minute while the rest of the stuff gets done. Well, I'm cooking the tips down and get some of that fat out. So. You want to smile for everybody? Uh -huh. And tell them you've missed them because they've been, some of them have been like, Where is, we need our ray of sunshine. Where is he at? Watch me shine. <laughs> I'm going to need you to calm it down. <laughs> You're getting a little too rambo. Even Buster says, Calm it down, Dad. Oh. Calm it down. Getting a little cracker. I'm so glad this little fella's doing better, too. Hey, Dad. You're so cute. Okay. <laughs> anyway, there you have it. There you have it. So, 
thank y'all as always for hanging out with me over the past i don't even know how long this vlog has gone for four days five days i don't know anyway i love y'all and i will see you in uh, the next one bye y'all you want to say bye what